Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I am the author of the young adult novel Essence, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on the novel How Not to Fall in Love by Lisa Brown Roberts. I was sent this book by Entangled Teen Publishing in return for a honest review, so that is exactly what we're doing today. So this story is a contemporary young adult story, and it's a little bit of a love story, obviously by the title, but the gist of things is that Darcy is this rich girl whose father is one of those motivational speakers who travels and does all these things. And one day, he up and disappears, and then her family basically becomes bankrupt, and she has to get a job and do all this stuff, and she's a rich girl, so she's kind of not used to that, but she's not the traditional annoying kind. It's kind of cool to see her develop in the story and not be an annoying brat like you would think she would be, She's kind of very humble, and you can see her growing as a character throughout the story. Now, my complaint is that the title of the book is How Not to Fall in Love. Um, that's not what the book is about. It really is about Darcy kind of growing as a person and going from a teenager to an adult who has to fend for herself and take care of her mother while her father is just missing. And it has a little bit of a love story, but you don't really get into it until you're about, I believe, at least 100 pages in. I gave it three and a half stars. It was an entertaining read. I highly enjoyed it. I was just really frustrated by the fact that the title of the book is How Not to Fall in Love. And that's just not the point of the book itself. It really is just a regular contemporary kind of coming of age story. It's got love in it, that's for sure, but not a whole lot, which is fine with me. But I feel like they should have changed the title, especially towards the end of the book. We see a lot of Darcy and Stonehenge because her and her father used to be really into Stonehenge and they built their own at their cabin and I feel like they could have incorporated Stonehenge into the title somehow because that was like a huge thing in the second half of the book like that's how she kind of tried to find her father and, and as far as the love story goes it's just kind of like oh flirting flirting back and forth I like you but I don't know if you like me and you like me but I don't think I can fall in love at this point in time it was just kind of like Eh. I mean, it was a good love story, it's just not worthy of being titled for a book. So yeah, again, three and a half stars. I want to know if you guys have read this book yet, because I've been seeing it all over BookTube, because they've been sending it to a lot of BookTubers. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. That was basically my two cents on it. I did really enjoy reading it, and I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe.